Welcome to Bewusst TV, Consciousness Television. It's the leading German uh, television channel on the alternative side. It's only on internet. And it was Joe Conrad who founded it uh, because he earlier was uh, uh, working for the secret television. And there he made uh, leading steps uh, to uh, this kind of television on the internet. I copied it from, from Joe with white TV in Sweden. Yeah. And um, we uh, met today because I heard a lot of Pegida in Sweden and didn't got the whole picture. What is Pegida? I heard there is a lot of people meeting in the former Eastern Germany GDR is not existing any longer, especially Dresden and Leipzig. And uh, Dresden today, it's 70 years, this horrible holocaust uh, was the happening. The bombings of the Allies, of the British, that they were yeah, British, really burning uh, the people. Yeah. And it was, I mean, Dresden is a city, it's, it's not, uh, it's a town and there's no military. Nothing, there. nothing. They were bombed and they were burning uh, phosphor bombs, yes, I think. Yes, and it's horrible. It, it's horrible. It, it, it was really a mass murder of the worst kind. The bomber Harry's is in Great Britain, the main responsible, of course, Churchill, but even American bombers, they, they, they chased individuals, children and women. It's awful. Un undescribable. It's awful, but it's all over the world, this, this kind of thinking. And um, yeah, people don't even protest uh, against that, Germans, you know. They are afraid, and we are all in this climate of political correctness. We are always afraid to be called Nazis and being yes. put into this corner. We don't want this. Yes. Of course, it's not nice. But as soon as you mention anything that happened to Germans or happens today to Germans, oh, then you're a Nazi. Yes. So these demonstrations, PEGIDA, let me uh, first say what it means, what yes. it stands for, is um, patriotic Europeans against the Islam Islamization of the Occident, is that the mm -hmm. right word? That would be the translation. But let me go back uh, uh, to the development, how this all um, developed. Because before we had peace demonstrations and we had so-called Mondays demonstrations, they started all over um, Germany and, and a lot of cities. And the media ignored them. And if they were saying, OK, there are some Monday's demonstrations, uh, then they were saying they are right wing and you know, racist. But it's and not because the Monday demonstration started 88, 89 in the GDR. Ex the yes. church yeah. and, and other dissidents made it, and right. it was a start uh, for the wall to fall. Right, that was part of the process, and now, uh, like one or two years ago it started that we made this Monday's demonstrations, remembering that in the GDR. And um, so that was, uh, the name was sometimes, uh, some people said it's not a, a good name, we should call it different because we don't demonstrate, we want peace and so we could call it peace demonstrations or whatever. Manifestation. Yeah, uh, whatever you want to call it. But people, uh, media ignored it, and they, if they put it into the right corner. Now, Pegida, uh, suddenly the, the media report and say, oh, Pegida, Pegida, Pegida everywhere. But of course, they are all racist and, and they, they hate foreigners and so on. Which is interesting, because that shows to me, you know, the media can control if they ignore something, some movement, or if they... Uh, for thought focus, about it, yes. yes, and focus about it, and it seems now that they have controlled the this, this, this whole movement now because the peace demonstrations are no more now. There's Pegida, and of course you can, can say they are against uh, Islam, and so they are whatever they are uh, against, and they are. And, and, and the Monday demonstration or manifestation before, they had main topic that journalists are lying and that we have a corrupt bank, bank system. Right, and now we have this name, Pegida, which has to do with Islam and 
patriotic Europeans is, is, is weird because patriot is someone who stands for his country, but Europe is not a country, so... Not yet, at uh, least. <laughs> yeah, it's never... Uh, uh, EU is not a state, so it's, the name doesn't even make any sense. But of course, now you can say they are going there and they are against Islam. But of course, people go there for a lot of reasons, because um, they maybe want peace and, and they are worried about a lot of developments that we have in our country, like you have in Sweden with, with immigration. There are problems and uh, as soon, of course, as, if, as uh, if you say something, then you are also racist and, and Nazi and whatever. So um, what we now have is, in my opinion, a controlled movement. Opposition. Yeah, and we have anti-Pegida and we have demonstrations and people, we know that people are being paid to go there. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, there are, you know, um, organizations who are seeking for demonstrators and they're getting 10 euros an hour or 25 and euros. Totally huge sums, I yeah. Read, yeah, and school classes. So I said we had to go there as part of the school program. We were not ask, do we want to protest <laughs> against Pegida? No, we had to go there. So what's happening now, we have two sides and they're fighting each other and there's so much hatred in the whole um, situation because the one says, oh, Pegida, they are Nazis, and the other side, no, we won't have to, there are reasons to go there. So people are fighting each other and of course, you know, the, the concept of, of uh, um, yeah, divide and conquer, mm -hmm. uh, that's a concept that always works and that's what you can see here now. But of course, it's, 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 uh, it's so bad if you call like 10, 20, 30,000 people who go there and say they're all racist, but that's what the media are doing. Yes. Of course, the people who go there, I, I think they, have a lot of reasons to to worry about what's happening. Like I said, with immigration, there are problems, and Islam. Of course, we see now in IS uh, uh, or ISIS, like it was before, that there are radical, f fundamental Islamists, and there are problems. And there, uh, you know, from Sweden, that there's. Uh, I, I, maybe you can talk about it because if I say it's uh, people will say I'm telling mm, I, I'm I want to incite hatred also of course I don't want but that's the problem that we Germans always have when we say anything about any foreigners even if they rape our, our women and, and children or steal or hurt people then we have to accept that otherwise we are racist and I don't want to be that but there are problems, you know that. I always mention in those discussions also the bigger picture. Uh, there is this famous letter from Albert Pike, a major Freemason in the United States uh, in the late 1860s, yeah. uh, to Giuseppe Mancini, the leader of the Freemasons in Italy, saying uh, we need three world wars to get world supremacy, the yeah. new world order. Right. And the third world war should be staged between the Islam and the Christians yes. and start in, in, in what is now Israel. And uh, for me, uh, the ISIS, the ES, is controlled opposition. It is we built know up that they by, are being paid by, by Mossad and CIA. Yeah, of course, yes. and, and they never attack Israel. Yeah. Very strange. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, so there is an impetus. Uh, 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 to, to uh, uh, make um, a fight between the Islamic world and, right. and, and, and the, the Christian world. And a lot of uh, people from Sweden, uh, I know personally, uh, Denmark and so on, who change and go over, convert to Islam, they are under mind control. Yeah. They, they don't make it's it not from themselves, yeah. but under mind control, and then they fight there on ISIS and so on and make horrible things. Yeah. Uh, so this we shall have in mind. And therefore, the media now is focusing on Pegida, but not when the people are demonstrating against the banks and the journalists lying. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the, uh, the, what they are saying on these demonstrations, there are a lot of... of uh, 
people don't talk about all these other problems that we have with, with um, the, the, the system behind the system, the people who want to control us and want the new world order and they're talking about this, but the media always focus on their racist. Uh, we had this incident in Paris, this um, Charlie, Charlie Hebdo, Hebdo uh, attack, and I think you know, like I know, that it's probably a, a false flag yeah, attack. Sure, of course, sure. you see nothing yeah. adds up. You find yeah. a passport from one of the uh, guys that's so typical and so and so lame, actually. The, the yeah. film where they shoot the policeman, yeah, yeah. a Muslim policeman. Why should Muslims shoot a Muslim policeman? Yeah. Uh, uh, that you see, it's a There's a lot of questions. How did they get into uh, this building? I mean, this. Uh, yeah. um, they they. Uh, they, that's a security area because yes. they had attacks before and they were warned so you just can't go in there with, with your Kalashnikov and, and yeah. there were you know this video from the rooftop uh, that someone yes. filmed and there were people with, with security vests uh, so <laughs> how does it it doesn't add up and how could people flee out of Paris <laughs> I mean they kill how many? Twelve people, and then they flee out of Paris, and there's nobody. William Engdahl, he's an American living in Frankfurt. I know him personally. Yeah. I appreciate. I had very an interview with him too. Yes. He said something very um, interesting. In December 2014, Hollande made a lot of mm. steps to get closer to Russia. Yes. And therefore, they staged this. And, and uh, therefore, he, hmm. he did not want that Netanyahu is coming to the funeral and uh, to the uh, demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. And Obama and nobody higher from the uh, hierarchy in the United States showed up either in Paris. Yeah, there's a lot of questions. What happens there? And also Hollande, I think they wanted to accept the Palestinian state. And I as think as the Swedish judge now yeah. just now did. Yeah. Yeah. And same thing uh, has you know the the, the uh, what's the Breivik in, in Oslo this uh, yes before that on on U Utøya was the island there was a Utøya. demonstration Utøya, Utøya, yeah, Utøya yeah. was against uh, Israel and the you know Boycott occupation Israel, and they wanted to uh, withdraw from Libya from that war in Libya it was 2011 yeah. so this was a typical Mossad mind control operation what was with Breivik on, on, in yeah. Norway not only Utøya also in the center of Oslo yeah right. So you see all these uh, terrorist attacks in my eyes are staged yes. and we have to be careful. Of course there is a problem with Islam but Paris attacks had in my opinion nothing to do. They were there to incite hatred against Islam so that yes. the Christians fight against Islam like it is planned like you rightfully said because that is a plan for World War III. Yes. And, but the positive thing is my impression is World War Three doesn't uh, work the way they want. I mean, exactly. World, they are World War One and <laughs> yes. Two happened exactly, exactly like planned yes. and exactly the, the yes. games were functioning pretty well. But World War Three doesn't seem to be easy. That's a good thing because yes. I think uh, we are in a different time today and people are waking up and they are seeing the forces behind all these games yes. and so they don't want World War Three. No, most people don't want no. war. And, and, and Hollande and, and, and Merkel just now uh, try to make peace in the Ukraine without the United States. Yeah. It was fuck the USA because one year ago it was fuck the EU from Victoria <laughs> Nuland. Yeah. Now it's the other way around. It's interesting all these interests group and you see that there are different interests and of course they are fighting against each other also yeah. and um, it seemed like our politicians like Merkel and all the time and our media also all the time are lying about the situation in Ukraine and they always say yeah Putin and the Russians are invading Ukraine and mm. it's, it's a lie it's, yeah, it's all the lie. time it's, yeah. it's lies and so the media are doing war propaganda yes. and they are they want to lead us into war so they are controlled but people want peace and they they see what's happening there and they don't believe the media anymore and there's a lot of protests also against this media that doing yes. this war propaganda all the time so Pegida also a lot of people go there because they say we we want peace and we don't want war against Russia and we don't want to be in it and we want to live in peace and freedom and we 
we don't accept that the media are lying to us all the time. So these are all the topics that people are worried about and therefore they go to the demonstrations. But now the demonstrations are called Pegida, so they, ca they can be put into a box and say they are all right-wing and racist. Yes, and th there were those pictures with the, the Pegida leader who now resigned, uh, uh, staging a kind of Hitler face. But what was that? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, so, it's, it's, it's so primitive because I think, I, I, I imagine that um, they did this to show, yeah, all these guys who go to these demonstrations, they follow someone who uh, likes to pose like Hitler, which is, of course, a evil guy. And um, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't buy this stuff, but you, they're doing that. I, I don't know if that, that guy really is controlled or what? Uh, who yeah, is, who it, it, for, for me, that was a fashion person. Okay, controlled op opposition again. Yeah, right? yeah, right. Because nobody would be so stupid uh, uh, to, to make such a thing. That, that, that there is no positive side on it. And even what he said, I mean, he had really radical and racist remarks. And um, pff, I, I don't, most people I know, nobody, uh, I know a lot of people who are called right wing and I know nobody who's, who hates people just because they are black or they are from another country. Mm -hmm. I don't know people like that. They are worried about that we in our country are probably le worse less than, than immigrants coming here. We talked uh, about it before in the car that you in Sweden and we in Germany we, we're getting a lot of immigrants and they're getting accommodation everywhere, they get everything they need. That's okay, I, I mean, it's okay that uh, if people are really in danger in some country, they, that we take care of them. But the people in Germany, when they can't afford their living, they live on the streets and on the bridge, they don't get uh, accommodation from the state. Mm. So um, it seems like we as Germans and you as Swedish guys are worse less for the gov government than yes. foreigners coming yes, into the yes. country. And that's sad. I'm, I'm not someone who says the Germans should be superior or anything. The, no. I'm far from that. I, yeah. we, uh, we just want to leave, live in peace with, with the whole world. And, but oh, uh, as soon as we, uh, as we say anything f about our own interests, what we want, we are being called Nazis and yes. racist and whatever. Yes, 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 it's horrible. And I heard that there was a woman who recently resigned also from the leadership of Pegida. What, what was the background about that? Uh, actually, it seems the Pegida split up. First the one got out, then the, there were two groups, and the one said, we want that, and the other said, we want that, so they are different. Uh, demonstrations now. Um, it's funny because uh, what's happening there is that first there's a controlled opposition, then there's, a, there's a opposition against the opposition, then the op controlled opposition is split up in two or three groups and so we have a uh, lot of different groups so the whole movement DVD seems, Emperor. Yeah, this whole movement seems to be destroyed and I don't know if it's on purpose on the on the side of this, these people we are talking about. I don't even know the names because I don't deal so much with them because I think demonstration is not um, leading to a change. But the change is coming and of course people demonstrate and that's a sign for the change mm. that we are in. But I'm not so much interested in, in uh, promoting demonstrations because I think what is changing has to be within ourselves and mm. we have to wake up, we have to understand what's happening there, we do have to understand that the media are lying to us and politicians are not uh, working for our, for our best interest, that there's other forces who want, who are playing with us and mm. uh, we have to understand that and demonstrating is, yeah, that's okay, but it's not the important thing for me. So, so I can't say too much about these people who were splitting up there now. But it's interesting to see that we had a movement before that wanted peace. With totally other leaders? There were no leaders. Uh, it, it, or some organizers. Uh, yeah, of course yeah. it has to be organized, but it seemed to be 
a natural movement from people who say we have to speak out um, and, and show the politicians and the media that uh, a lot of people in this country want peace and not this confrontation with Russia and the Ukraine situation mm. and all these things. And then all this uh, changed to Pegida and now it's a controlled uh, movement and now it's this movement has, to, has been destroyed this way. I mean, there will be demonstrations again, but it's, it's, it's hard to focus now. Where do you want to go? Pegida is not there anymore or it's split up and there's another Legida or whatever and do I go there or do I go there and Pegida at there were like 20 25,000 people going there every every week and now I think it, it's it's much less and the media are saying oh they are split up and now there's only coming thousand people to the new one and so they seem to be quite happy about it but it's so crazy when you listen to the reporters there was a reporter saying there are all these demonstrators and they, they are waving German flags as if that was <laughs> Nazi flags or whatever. It's just a German flag. I mean, I'm not thrilled about the German flag, but it's a flag of our country. So why is it bad mm. to, to wave that flag? Mm. I mean, it's ridiculous. Every other nation does. <laughs> yeah, Americans, uh, French <laughs> yeah. or Russian, uh, Sweden, I think they would yeah, all yeah, be proud to show their flag. Uh, so it's it's... Uh, there's a climate of hatred against all the people who stand up for their own country and their yes. own interests. And if we call it patriotic, or I mean that's in the name, I, I, I don't know if I'm patri a patriot or whatever. I'm not for my country. Of course I have a country and I know that there are problems in other countries that I wish would stop at, at least at the border of Germany or at least at the border of, of my uh, my village where I live because there uh, are things happening around the world like, you know, uh, people being killed if they're not uh, uh, going to the Islam or if they don't, uh, if the ISIS don't like them or whatever. And there's a lot of problems in the world. Um, and But I don't think that German is yet sp as, as special now or whatever, but um, it's my country and why, why can't I say that here we don't want certain things that we see in other countries like genetically modified food and so on. We don't want it here. I'm I an, a Nazi because I say we want, don't want this here. I think not, but uh, we have a climate where it is, uh, the impression is, uh, is made that everyone who speaks up for his own country is an almost a Nazi, yes, yes. racist and a bad guy. Yes. And then I heard the politicians in Leipzig forbade uh, 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 one of the Pegida demonstrations. Yeah, that's interesting. A reason. I mean, of course, there is, uh, we have a basic law that says we have the right to demonstrate. But the funny thing in Germany is that you have to um, you have to ask before, can we demonstrate there? And then, then the, uh, the mayor or whoever can say you can make it or not. And there was warnings from, uh, uh, from uh, a threat uh, to kill someone of these people from Pegida. And then um, the officials said, okay, uh, that's too dangerous. So we don't allow the next demonstrations. That's the beginning of uh, undermining the law we have, mm. uh, the right to demonstrate. I mean, demonstrate, we don't need a right to the, do that. And we don't to have to ask people if we want to have to, if we are allowed to demonstrate. Demonstration is our right and we should go there. But now it seems like first you destroy, we, you have this controlled opposition, then you divide it and you have an anti-controlled opposition. and. So you split it up and then you forbid it also. So they, the politicians seem to be really afraid of this movement. So they, yes. it's being destroyed or they try to destroy it. But I think that doesn't um, prevent um, from what is happening. Um, that people are waking up and they see that they are being lied to and what is happening there. And um, so I don't know if, if demonstrations will go on or I mean, there's. Uh, uh, I think in Leipzig the demonstration was forbidden. Or I, I don't know how long they, can they do it. Can they from week to week to week say, oh, this demonstration is, is forbidden? 
if they do that, they say we have no uh, right to demonstrate anymore. And it's in our basic law, but you always can ask what really laws do we have, what is really valid. And uh, if you deal with that, you see that you can't be sh too sure what really is the, the, the law that we actually have. We are losing all our rights in this process of, you know, since 9-11 and before, we are losing more and more rights to mm -hmm. uh, speak out our mind and we are being controlled and, and everything is more and more into and uh, moving into a police state and um, so, but people are waking up to that and that's the main thing that's happening. Yeah. I don't know how, this, how it is developing, but it, it can't be stopped what's no, happening. No. Interesting, this Monday, this week, it was a little Pegida demonstration in Malmö in southern Sweden. Oh, the same uh, name? They, they took the same name, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, it was only f about 50 people who gathered. Uh, and the media took up okay. and focused on it. That's interesting. And they organized a counter demonstration, and there uh, between two and three thousand gathered. They were probably being paid <laughs> for that. They also had the same thought. <laughs> that's, that's so weird. But it's, it, I didn't know that people in, in Sweden and, and in Norway they, they want to start also. I don't like those who started it in Sweden because they focused too much on the Islam. Yeah. I always say, remember in the Middle Ages, it was the Christians who was the mo were the most brutal in the Crusades, and it was the Islam save which saved our culture, uh, the Maur. Uh, 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 so it is how the background forces want something to show up. At yeah. those times, they wanted the Christians to be the most cruel. Yeah. Just now, they wanted on the Islamic side to get their clashes. That's right, that's always a danger to put people against each other. But we also have to be dangerous. I know in Norway there was a large congregation of Muslims and they, are, they wanted to get into the parliament and it was the biggest uh, Muslim movement in, in Norway and there was this video and they were, uh, one of the things they said, they wanted the stoning of, of uh, unfaithful women and of homosexuals. Yeah. So. Uh, we have to be careful what uh, we, if we say, oh, Islam is, is peace, you know, some people say that, and we are liberal and we are tolerant, so let them get into our governments and, and, our, and, and to, then we have to be careful if, if someday we are not in a state where pe our women have to uh, yes. disguise mm. and, and, and uh, you know, the, the, there's a lot of things that are um, dangerous. There's one example. I'm, I'm not speaking against Islam because uh, um, every religion has good sides and not and, so good and sides. And there are different uh, uh, streams. There yeah, are of, Shiites, of Wahhabists, yeah. uh, Sunnis, and, and, and uh, those being so extreme is not the average. Yes, I think the most even also most Muslims and there are a lot in Germany who have their you know the uh, their shops and whatever and they are nice people and and they want to live in peace also and they want to have a decent life and that's okay. I have no problem with. And people. they keep their families better together than our <laughs> that's, Christian. Families. That's right. But there are problems and if we don't address them, i tell you one example from England, from a t town, Rotherham I think is the name of the town, and there over the years like 1,500 or 2,000 girls have been raped and, and abused and uh, from uh, people from Pakistan mm -hmm. and so on and the police and the politics, they didn't want to be racist, so they ignored it and they mm. said, "Okay, uh, we, we, are, we are making, we are not dealing with that because we are afraid of being, whatever." In Sweden, that's the same problem. It's in average they say uh, 100 rapes in Sweden, and and those rapes every are, day, every day. Yes, uh, uh, those rapes outside the houses are mostly um, uh, Muslims from the northern Africa. 
alltså Iran, Irak, Somalia, Marokko and so on. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a shame if we can protect our own children from rape and uh, molestation and and what have you, uh, just because we are afraid to be being called racist. I think that's it's really uh, it's, it's it's insane, and yes. we have to address these things, even if you're being called um, racist. Uh, but it's very sad to be called that, like that because I'm not a racist. Uh, In white TV, I have a main menu uh, uh, on the internet uh, that is reincarnation against racism. Yeah, and one of the menus is don't judge the body, judge the soul. Right, because we have to be aware that we are all uh, souls incarnated in a body. And so, like you said, I can't judge you because the color of your hair or your skin or whatever. Uh, that's ridiculous because yes. I, there's a soul in you and the soul is eternal and is divine. So, but uh, we have on the other side, we have to be careful what we uh, let in. And if we are so liberal that we say, come, everybody can come here and then after a while we will have some problems because not every soul is, uh, uh, is a loving and caring and respectful soul because uh, there are dark forces on this planet that yeah. has nothing to do with the color of skin. There are dark forces on this planet who uh, want to control the planet and destroy people and, and depopulate the planet. You know, they yeah. don't want 7 billion people, but like 500,000 people yes. or whatever on this planet. So they want um, uh, destruction of a lot of people and they want us to go against each other and kill each yes. other. And I hope this is not working out because most of people in the world want to live in peace and respect yes. for it from against each other. And, and they they live it every day. I mean, we are focusing all the time on, on the problem. We are looking, oh, there's war and there are people being killed. And so, but at the same time, seven billion people live peacefully uh, together on this planet and they are not killing each other yes. every day. Yes. So the majority uh, is actually living in peace. So yes. that's a, a good point we have. And our media are trying to focus on the uh, on the problems and we have to see them but we don't have to uh, focus just on the, this, this uh, separation because they want us to split up and fight each other and we have to be careful what games are being played with us. Yes. Do you finally want to add something on the topic <laughs> Pegida Germany? Uh, I think I say it's the most things I don't know if I have no more questions but uh, I, I really want to say that I have not been living in World War II, but we are always confronted with being remembered uh, with our past. And uh, it's not nice to be called a Nazi or a uh, racist or anti-Semite or whatever, um, because it's not what I am. But it's, it's always played out. Um, and we are always remembered of, of World War II and, and Hitler and so on. And I, I haven't been part of that. I have killed nobody. I haven't hurt anybody. Mm. And I want to live in peace. And I think most Germans want it. And they also want it back uh, in the times before. And like you said before, World War I and II were, in, uh, were made from forces that States, are behind yes. the nations, and it was, was not Hitler who. Yeah, yes. it was not Hitler who, who, who started all this stuff. So uh, I, I as a German, uh, would like to say we want to live in peace, and we don't want to be better than other countries. But uh, we have to address the problems that might, that are coming into our countries, and I hope we can solve it peacefully, and that. Uh, we we actually we need a peace contract. We don't uh, after seventy years after World War Two. We still don't have a peace yes. contract. In Germany, yes. and uh, that's that's a shame. We want peace and uh, I hope and, independence. Uh, and independence. Formerly Germany is still an occupied country. Actually. It's only Russia who liberated Germany. 
Right. Um, and Russia is also ready to give us a peace contract. They offered it also in the 50s and 60s, but even our politicians said, no, we don't want it because, you know, the American side and British and all these interests, it's not a nation like America. It's, it's interests behind that who don't want us to have peace and sovereignty and independence. So all these things have to be addressed and I hope that our voices are being heard. We are not reaching the millions like the mass media. But we not are yet. Not yet, but we are telling the, them that we want to live in peace. Yes. Thank you, Joe Conrad. Thank you.